From the WYLN studios in Hazleton, Pennsylvania, WYLN Evening Edition at 5.30 starts right now. Good evening. It's Friday, September 30th, 2016. I'm Ann Gownley. Hazleton police investigating a burglary. It happened early Monday between 2 and 5 a.m. at a home on James Street between Diamond Avenue and 6th Street on the northwest side. According to police, the unknown male forced his way into a private residence in the area and removed property. If anyone has any information on this burglary, you are asked to call Hazleton police at 570-459-4940 or dial 911. Tuesday afternoon, around 12.30, an attempted burglary was reported at 21 Silver Creek Road in Blythe Township in Schuylkill County. Neighbors said that a suspicious person was lurking around the residence and walked onto the front porch after realizing that the neighbor saw him. The suspect fled on foot behind the residence towards a wooded area. The suspect is described as a 40-year-old man, 6 feet tall, weighing 165 pounds, wearing blue wearing a ball cap blue shorts and a dark hoodie anything anyone with information is asked to call police in frackville a house fire in briar creek near berwick last night it broke out around 11:30 and seriously damaged the home it was the second time crews were at that house last night earlier they'd been called because of a faulty hot water heater they shut off the power the people who lived there were staying with friends last night so there were no injuries the Hazleton Area School District Board of Education heard from several residents and parents about the current busing situation. WYLN's Aaron Harvey has more. Parent after parent after parent gave the Hazleton Area School Board a piece of their mind at last night's meeting regarding the busing situation. Although the actual meeting was only 13 minutes, public comments went on for over an hour and a half. Many parents are still frustrated that the busing issues the district had since the first day of school are still not resolved over a month later. The busing problem started on the first day of school with major busing delays and wrong routes. The board said they had someone leave their job in transportation over the summer, causing them to go with a busing company called TransFinder that would reroute all the bus routes and save the district thousands of dollars. Superintendent of Hazleton Area Dr. Craig Butler says the district supervisor of transportation will have three days with the busing company to make sure all the problems are fixed. And we will review those when those come back. Our staff will look at them again, just again, to not only look at routes, but look at passes, student passes. Make sure we have an AM and a PM bus. And then it, as soon as we are fairly comfortable with the accuracy of the bus passes, we'll be getting them out to students in their schools. We're hoping that might be Friday of next week or Tuesday right after Columbus Day. The district went with TransFinder to save money, but it looks like they actually spent more money to try and fix the busing mess and are considering going back to the old system. I think we heard from our directors tonight that if we don't feel a fairly high level of confidence, certainly not for perfection, but to a fair, fairly high degree of accuracy, that the distribution of new bus passes is going to yield what we want, then we, we will not do it. And we'll look then to go back to the old system. Hazleton resident and grandmother of two Hazleton area students, Janet Tucker, is still fed up with the busing issue. I've been very disappointed, um, surprised at the immensity. I think one of the things that impresses me is that people who don't have children in the system don't realize how huge this problem was. And they may not realize how huge our school district is, uh, literally, physically, in terms of miles and how big it is. So a lot of kids are spending a lot of time on buses. I personally don't think that's right. I think they're going to school to get an education, not to sit on a bus. The board also hired four new teachers last night because the district enrolled over 800 students over the past few weeks. I think the public needs to understand that I don't think in anyone's mind class size is over 30 or class size is approaching 30 in the, in the K through 8 building, specifically 3 through 8, is acceptable. Um, and numbers over 30, we're starting to see those uh, numbers creep up. We have enrolled perhaps as many as 800 new students over and above what we had last year. So we cannot continue to assume that the educational quality in the classroom and the educational environment is where we want it. It's a standard to which we uh, expect in this district. 
In Hazel Township, for WILN News, I'm Erin Harvey. Thank you, Aaron. The Commonwealth paid a bunch of dead people welfare benefits. That's what Auditor General Eugene Pasquale found. His audit of the Department of Human Services found that between July of 2013 and June of 2014, DHS paid about $693,000 worth of benefits to 2,300 people who are no longer alive. He says policy changes have been put in place, but he also says that even at the time of payment, there were ways to prevent the phony benefits, but DHS workers didn't bother to follow them. One local school in the Hazleton area is making it easier for parents to send their kids to private school. WYON's Aaron Harvey has more on that story. Emmanuel Christian School is a nonprofit, denominational, Christ-following school that encourages an environment where students can grow in character, wisdom, and discernment to pursue the life God has called each student to live. Even though the school lowered their tuition this year, some parents still may need help financially with sending their kids to school. There is a Pennsylvania State program that helps pay for some of the students' tuition. The program is a tax credit program for businesses who would like to give donations to the school. Business Administrator for Emanuel Christian School, Susan Selby, gives us some background on the school. Emanuel Christian School, we're here in Hazleton. We've been around for 30 years. We've been in this building for 20. In the past year, we felt a calling to make what we're doing here more accessible to more students. Um, it's well known that we have high academic standards and we don't want to be exclusive. So this last year, we actually made a decision to lower our tuition, and that was a great step. We have 50 new students this year, and we are just continuing to make decisions that position the school to be able to, to make what we're doing accessible to more and more students. Selby explains the tax credit scholarship program. This program, this EITC or OSTC program, it stands for Educational Improvement uh, Tax Credit or Opportunity Scholarship Tax Credit. It's a program where if someone wanted to send their student to a private school and could not afford the tuition, it gives us extra resources to help provide scholarship money so that we can uh, make what we do accessible to more students. Businesses that take part in the tax credit program will get about 90% of their money back. There's a process. So basically, the businesses fill out the application, it goes through a scholarship organization, and then um, Pennsylvania approves it, and then the business gets up to a 90% tax credit. So if they decided to donate, for example, um, $1,000 for a manual Christian school, they would get a $900 tax credit. So the net cost to the business would be $100. Head of Emanuel Christian School Kelly Nolden says the school does everything possible to make a good quality education affordable. Emanuel Christian School has small class sizes because we believe one-on-one -on -one is best but obviously small groups students are going to learn better. And we have a class size limit of about 20 per, per teacher and our goal is to maintain that in the years ahead. We also want to make a good, solid academic education affordable for as many children as it would like to come. And so we don't want anyone to be turned away based on economic difficulties. Unfortunately, Emanuel Christian School is all booked for this school year, but if you plan to register your student for next year, you have to start as early as February. And if you're interested in the tax credit program, you can contact the school at 570-459-1111. In Hazleton, for WILN News, I'm Erin Harvey. Thank you, Erin. Time now for a first look at our forecast. Another rainy day here in our area, but more is on the way for our weekend. Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic is in the Weather Center with all the details. Joe? Yeah, we got uh, some more showers uh, coming into play as we go into this upcoming weekend. I don't think it's going to be quite like what we saw today because we did see some, I should say, a lot of rain coming down across our area. But when will the sunshine return and when will we dry things out? I'll let you know with the seven-day forecast in just a few. And Thanks, Joe. Coming up next, State Representative Tara Tuhill made a stop at a local elementary school to read to the students and talk with them about women in government. WYLN's Abby Piskel will have all the details. Plus, a special expo dedicated to women will be held this weekend at the Hazleton One Community Center. More news, weather, and sports is coming your way here on WYLN. Stay tuned. You're watching WYLN News with Ann Gownley. 
video journalists Mike Lula and Julie Stefanovich, Paula Degnan, Gary Perna, Abby Piskel, and Aaron Harvey. Sports with Eric DiBerardinas and John Eric Poli, and weather with Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic. Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. At All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, you not only get the vehicle that you want, you also get the lowest financing options. We also deliver unmatched service. Whether you're in need of a work truck, have an active family lifestyle, or simply want to show off your fun, adventurous side, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. It's the Ram Power Days and Jeep Celebration event. Stop in today. To teach young girls about the progress women have made over the years, Pennsylvania State Representative Tara Tuhill made a visit to Maple Manor Elementary Middle School. WYLN's Abby Piskel has the details. This morning, third and fourth grade girls gathered in the gym of Maple Manor Elementary Middle School to hear a story and get a little lesson about women running for government. The book called Grace for President was read to the girls by PA State Representative Tara Tuhill, who is the state director for the National Foundation of Women Legislators. So the book is called Grace for President, which basically talks about the Electoral College and voting and how important it is for women to try to get into government. Uh, so we had a classroom of girls today, third and fourth graders, and they really did enjoy the book and I think they got a lot out of it. Uh, and I'm, on, I'm the state director for the National Foundation of Women Legislators, and a problem that we find is there's less and less women in state government, in national government. As a special surprise, the girls were also given colorful book bags containing school supplies and of course a bookmark to encourage them to keep reading. Office Depot, they actually donated the book bags for us and all of the girls here today, they got a book bag as well as um, crayons and rulers uh, and things that helped them in school. Uh, so they were an excellent crowd here today at Maple Manor and they got a lot out of it. They got more I think than the adults did out of it. Two Hill wanted to teach the girls that it is important to see the progress that women have made in the government system. I think it's um, important to look at our history that at one point women did not have the right to vote. Uh, women were not allowed to be in elected office. So they're kind of, children are kind of surprised to hear that type of thing uh, and that women fought so hard to have access to government and some people just take that for granted. So it's important to go over that history with the girls. The lesson of girls being able to do anything strongly resonated with one student who says to always follow your dreams. The book, um, um, the book um, helped me to be like a president because it helps me because I can run for president and always follow your dreams. At the end of the story, the girls cheered and clapped as it was announced that Grace did win president. In Hazel Township, for WILN News, I'm Abby Piskel. Thank you, Abby. Coming up next, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic is back with a full look at our rainy forecast. Stay tuned. When you're looking for a new or used car, truck, or SUV, the Heighton Kia is the place to go. They showcase a variety of vehicles, like the totally transformed Soul and the eye-catching Cadenza, the Kia Optima, not your average mid-size sedan, the Forte lineup, including the Coupe and popular five-door, the Sorento and Sportage, with a bold array of features. Ask about specials and incentives, and you can't beat the 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. The Heighton Kia, 21 Blakesley Boulevard, Lee Heighton. Call them at 610-377-1570. Since 2001, Hazelton Imaging has been offering the best care. A staff that is kind and courteous and a radiologist on site. Hazelton Imaging is less expensive.
inexpensive than most hospitals, and they offer self-pay pricing. Call Hazel Imaging today at 570-501-SCAN. Chura's Auto Sales has a great line of cars and trucks. Every vehicle is serviced, reconditioned, and inspected. Chura's Auto Sales offers you experience, quality, and service. Stop in today, North Broad Street and Susquehanna, West Hazleton. Watch off the beaten path on WYLN TV 35 and discover the Pennsylvania you never knew existed. Well, we've been dealing with the rain today. Some of it was quite heavy. We still got a little bit of uh, some lingering rain and uh, some drizzle outside, and it's really keeping temperatures down quite a bit. In fact, we're only in the uh, 50s. It's a raw, damp, cool, just blah. That's all I got to say at this point in time. Some conditions will be improving as we go into the weekend, but we still have a chance of some showers. On to the numbers, and you can see for yourself that it is uh, just cool. Very cool, in fact. 52 degrees is all we got for you at this point in time, and we did get over an inch of rainfall since the midnight hour. In fact, we picked up 1.14 inches of rain. Now, winds at this point, not too much of a factor but uh, we did have a little bit of a wind gust earlier. So how did we do temperature-wise? Well, don't get too excited by looking at this graphic because all we did was get up to 53. In the early morning, all 48, so it was a cool start to our morning. And there you can see that wind gust coming in at 27 miles per hour. Onto the state of Pennsylvania, you can see for yourself that uh, no matter wherever you go throughout the state, uh, it's overcast, it's damp, it's dreary, got some drizzle, we got some rain. So again, high school football games, we can't be perfect. Last couple of weeks, it's been dry, it's been nice. Uh -uh, not this time around. We're going to have to deal with some of that rain and some of the drizzle and overcast skies. So again, that could be a big factor in uh, the high school football games tonight. And even going into the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, still going to have to deal with a couple of showers here and there. But again, it's not going to be anything like we saw today. By all means, let's take a look at those numbers in terms of winds, anywhere between 5 to 10, occasionally up to 15 miles per hour, some higher wind gusts also. Here's a look at what we can expect. Well, I wish I could give you a better forecast for the weekend, but it could be worse. It could be like it was today. Not going to be the case. We actually have a chance of maybe seeing a little bit of some sun for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, but again, we're going to be dealing with some showers around. Yeah, going to the uh, Bloomsburg Fair tomorrow, one more day left. Yeah, take the umbrella with you, but again, it's not going to be like it was today. And it'll actually be milder. Hey, if we can get 10 degrees warmer tomorrow than today, you'll be outside. You'll be like, hey, it actually feels pretty decent. 67 for Sunday. Monday, maybe a chance of a shower around still in the 60s. And then generally mid to upper 60s as we start going into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. But you can still see some of those overnight lows, upper 40s, lower 50s. So it's going to continue to remain quite cool at night. Stick around. We'll have a lot more for you after the break. Tri-County Business and Machines has been serving the Hazleton area with office supplies and furniture for over 35 years. We are your local Kia Sera dealer for all your digital Kia Sera copiers, printers, and faxes. For exceptional reliability, sales, and service, the call to make is to Tri-County Business Machines. Tri-County Business Machines, keeping your office up to speed. Tri-County Business Machines, located at 117 East Broad Street, Hazleton. Phone 459-0754 or visit us on the web at tricountybm.com. Ralph M. Cameron, specializing in quality and affordable construction services for residential, commercial, and industrial. Licensed and insured. Call 570-401-0654 today for all your construction needs. Electric Frog Designs, 323 North Hunter Highway, Route 309 Drums, offering full-color banners and signs, vehicle lettering and graphics, campaign signs, promotional products, trophies, plaques, and medals. 788-2333. Tomorrow at the Hazleton One Community Center, it'll be a special expo for women. WYLN's Abby Piskel has more. 
This Saturday from 12 to 4 at the HIP Community Center will be a Women's Empowerment Expo hosted by the National Association of Hispanic Nurses to help teach women about different resources that are available to them to better their health and life skills. Uh, so the expo we put together to really connect the community with the resources that are within them. The majority of them are free or low cost that, you know, they may not have been aware of and that can improve either their health or their living situations. Uh, we have resources about financial planning from Wood Forest Bank. We have Luzerne County Community College coming to talk about admissions and we have someone who is bilingual who will be there available to speak to them. We have maternal and family health services coming and they will be talking about the multitude of programs that they have that's available to the public and so much more and um, so that people are aware of the resources that they can use that they may have not been known that they were there before. Director of Outreach and Sponsorship for the Expo, Jennifer Sanchez, says that in order to better yourself, you must first better your health. Each person is different, so it is important to make sure that you are doing the right things to take care of yourself. People cannot better themselves um, with out a bettering their health and addressing all the needs that their health may have and often the Hispanic communities has different things that affect them more or differently than it does the general population and once you are in a good place and you're healthy you can then go on to better your living situation whether it's by education whether it's learning how to save and balance your checkbook so that you can go on and buy a house and be more of a contributing member to the society and that is one of the goals that we have with our association. The National Association of Hispanic Nurses is a nonprofit organization that runs on donations, but is also working on setting up a scholarship fund to help those who wish to go into nursing. We are also looking to set up scholarships uh, for people who are interested in going to into nursing locally. I myself uh, joined because I was able to receive a scholarship from the National Association. So we're looking to set one up locally to help those within the community grow and finances not to be a barrier for them. Again, the expo is this Saturday, October 1st, from 12 to 4 at the HIP Community Center, free of charge. In Hazleton, for WIL at News, I'm Abby Piskel. Thank you, Abby. Coming up next, John Eric Poli is in for Eric DiBerdinus with sports here on WYLN. Plus, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacek will have one final look at our forecast. Stay tuned. It's a kickoff classic sale at Burger Mazda, Route 93, Hazel Township. 2016 Mazda CX-3 Sport. It's all-wheel drive, zero-to-drive lease, just $2.55 a month. Or this 2016 Mazda 6i Sport. Zero to drive lease, just $2.55 a month. It's 2016 Mazda CX-5 Sports all-wheel drive. Zero to drive lease, just $2.85 a month. At Burger Mazda, Route 93, Hazel Township. Burger family dealerships. Drive with experience. Affordable dumpsters specializing in estate cleanups, general cleanups, hauling, foreclosure cleanups, waste removal, demolition, as well as fire, water, and mold damage. We supply containers of all sizes. Call 570-427-4976. The Wilsey Center presents Nick as Elvis. Legends never die. Local performer Nick Mastician is back for his Broadway-style show featuring costume changes, a narrator, and motion clips of Elvis. Doors open at 6.30, show starts at 7. Tickets are on sale for $10 at Boscos and the Melfi School of Music, plus tickets are also available at the door. Come see Nick as Elvis Thursday, October 13th at the Wiltsey Center on Wyoming Street in Hazleton. October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Join me, Erin Harvey, every Tuesday and Thursday for a special series here on WYLN News. I will talk with survivors to hear their stories, along with medical specialists to learn how to treat, beat, and prevent breast cancer. Today is week six of the high school football season, and the weather hasn't really been too good to go outside and watch a game, so luckily you have WYLN, because tonight at 7 o'clock we'll be broadcasting our game of the week featuring, featuring Hazleton area and Delaware Valley. Delaware Valley has a great football team this season, and there's a possibility these two teams may meet again in the postseason. The Cougars will have a chance to kick Delaware Valley while they're down, since last week the Warriors were defeated by North Pocono. Here's Hazleton area head coach Mike Brennan on his strategy for tonight. Our defense is moving around. Our young kids are starting to figure it out defensively. Uh, if we can play defense and confuse them and, and make their, uh, their drives long um, and offensively, even though we had some youth up front, 
we're a little banged up, uh, you know, probably without Carson Kinney. You know, we have to make some plays offensively and keep our defense off the field. And it's, it's 48 minutes of football. And it's 48 minutes of football in which we have to take a gigantic step forward in terms of how we're doing things and, and how we're, we're going to head into this stretch run at the end of the season. For those of you that are heading out tonight, here are some games across the Schuylkill League and Wyoming Valley Conference that you might want to watch. Schuylkill League first. Tamakwa will be home tonight against Pottsville. The Blue Raiders are a competitive 3-2 bunch, going up against a Crimson Tide team that is 4-1 this season. North Schuylkill on the road at Lee Heighton in a battle of two teams that win in two different ways. The Indians can outscore anyone averaging over 34 points a game, while the Spartans beat you with their defense, allowing an average of less than 16 points a game. And lastly, for the Schuylkill League, Jim Thorpe will be hosting Blue Mountain in a game featuring two teams with 4-1 and one records. Now to the Wyoming Valley Conference. Wyoming area is coming off their first loss of the season against Scranton Prep, and tonight they'll go against the team that's right behind Prep in the AAA standings in Hanover. Both the Hawkeyes and Warriors are 4-1 and one this season, and both teams are currently seated second in their classes. Coughlin will be traveling to Berwick, and I don't think I need to say too much more about this game. Every time these two teams meet, the game is usually close, and Berwick pulls out a close win. Tonight, the Crusaders will look to take advantage of a Bulldog team who's lost two out of the last three games. And finally, Crestwood and Nanakook meet in a huge matchup, as Crestwood is currently the first team out of the Class 4A playoffs, but if they get a win tonight and Pittston area loses to Abington Heights, the Comets will move up to the 8th spot. We often see potential playoff matchups in the regular season, and that's what took place yesterday in Mountaintop. Crestwood hosting Coughlin in boys soccer action. Comets ahead 2-0 in the first half. Keep comes out to keep it out, but Eric Christensen puts it in, and it'll be hugs all around for the Crusaders as they cut the deficit. Now here's one they really wish they could have back. It's wide open, and the shot is going to go wide. And then just before the break, free kick. Ball's not going to hit the ground, but it does touch Christensen's foot, and we're all even. However, Crestwood will prevail in the second half with a 4-3 victory. That's all for sports. Up next, Joe Garbacic is back with another look at tonight's forecast. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. Family and friends come from all over the area to enjoy a fabulous dining experience at Graziano's Restaurant. You choose your dinner from a menu that is filled with all freshly made to order entrees. You'll never be disappointed and you'll leave satisfied. If you're looking for a good pre-owned vehicle, check out BLB for tax time special. Get the best return on your tax check at BLB Auto Sales, a division of Barbush Automotive located on Route 940 in Harley. Call 570-454-7571. Well, we still got some more showers around for the weekend, but again, it's not going to be anything like what we saw today. Even a chance of some sunshine as we go into uh, the weekend, but again, uh, one more day for the fair. Take the umbrella with you. Dress warm, but again, <laughs> 50s versus 60s, it's going to be a big difference tomorrow. It's going to feel much better, but again, there's be a couple of showers around. Can't rule that out. Even going into Sunday, maybe a lingering stray shower for Monday, and then after that, we dry things out, and we see temperatures generally getting up into the 60s, mid to upper 60s. But again, those nights kind of gets cool once the sun starts to set. Upper 40s to near 50 degrees. So uh, again, some cool nights ahead, but daytime, you know, <laughs> you know, it's amazing that we're in October going in October. We're in October going into October? It's Friday, guys. It's Friday, everyone. That's all right. It's all right. But we, we talked about We're not this. officially in October. You know, 30 days We're going out. into. Yeah, because today's the 30th of September. Yep. Yeah, so then tomorrow's October 1st. A Remember the saying, lesson. 30 days, half September, April, June, and on November, all the rest of 31 except February, which has 28, but every four years it has 29. That's your lesson for tonight. Hope you have a good weekend. We'll see you on Monday. He's got it. <laughs>